scratch and sniff monologue. This has never been done, and probably for good reason. <laughs> but it's true. At any moment, you, dear viewer, will be asked to scratch the TV screen when an image appears, and then you have to guess what that image smells like. <laughs> I know! There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. But isn't this fun? It's a special treat for all of you at home and for our fans watching for free at Best Buy. <laughs> so let's go to the first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. There you go. The scratch and snip. All right, get up there. Get up to your screen. Smell it. Smell it. Smell your fingers. Oh. Get up there. All right, what's that smell like? What's that smell? Now, if you guessed Parmesan cheese, you win. Very good. But we will accept Crisco, because we know he does. <laughs> Disgusting. All right, according to new leaked audio obtained by the Washington Examiner, Hunter claims his dad viewed him as a god. And if that's not an argument for atheism, what is? But Hunter could be confused. Every time he called his dad to tell him what kind of trouble he was in, Joe would say, Oh, God, what did you do now? <laughs> the recording was stored on that laptop we were told was Russian disinformation by this lady. Remember her? Oh. All right, get up there, get up there. You get two seconds to smell her. <laughs> what does she smell like? Does she smell like a new career? You're right. But we would have taken Russian dressing. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Hunter. I wonder if we'll talk about anything. We'll talk about um, anything that I wanted to, that he believes in. If I just say this is important to me, mm. then he will work a way in which to make it a part of his, of his platform. The man I most admire in the world, that God to me, mm. thinks I'm a God. Mm. And my brother did too. Mm. And the three of us, it was literally, mm -hmm. I had the support to know I can do anything. <laughs> yeah, including his brother's wife. <laughs> anyway, Hunter claims his dad would do anything he said, which must have made the hookers very nervous. <laughs> Speaking of pop. Here you go. <laughs> All right. What's that smell like? Get up really close, take a deep whiff. Is it disaster? Is it incompetence? How about a loaded pair of Depends and some Polygrip? <laughs> well, yesterday he put on quite a show at the AFL-CIO with every clip more viral than a bucket full of monkeypox, which, by the way, is the new Ben & Jerry's flavor. <laughs> but he doesn't want to hear any more of these lies. I don't want to hear any more of these lies. About reckless spending. We're changing people's lives. Yeah, we're changing people's lives. That's true, actually. My neighbor Phil now demands to be called Phyllis. <laughs> we're actually closer now. Yesterday I went bra shopping with him. It's difficult. But if Joe is changing people's lives, how is that a positive? <laughs> polio changed lives, too. Now, I'm not saying Joe is like polio. Or am I? You are. Am I? It doesn't matter. Because I bet his plan is simple. My plan is simple. First, I'm doing everything in my power to blunt Putin's gas price hike. It's going to take time, but let the world coordinate the largest release, what I've been able to do, the largest release of oil from the global fund in history. <laughs> He didn't even like the own of the sentences he started with. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, that was a mess. And it wasn't true, but okay, because his plan isn't finished, like that sentence, and the results aren't finished either. That's why my plan is not finished, <laughs> and why the results aren't finished either. The results aren't finished? That's the same thing the plastic surgeon said about Michael Jackson's face. <laughs> oh, what, too soon? <laughs> it's the only thing that remains. So what's his solution for a flailing economy? I bet all he's asking for is for the largest corporations and wealthiest Americans to pay their fair share. All I'm asking is for the largest corporations and the wealthiest Americans to begin to pay their fair share in taxes. Yeah, we wouldn't mind paying our fair share if we weren't already. 
But he's right. Paying $5 a gallon for gasoline and $6 a pound for hamburger isn't fair at all to us. I always knew living in New York, I'd eventually get mugged. I just didn't think it would be my, by my butcher. <laughs> and by the way, since when is raising taxes a solution for inflation? We're already getting taxed by rising prices. And now you want to add more? It's like he has only one tool to fix 20 different problems. He's a proctologist whose only medical instrument is a hand grenade. <laughs> you know, at least he's not coughing. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah, last time I coughed like that, I was being checked for a hernia by Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Sorry. No doubt Joe's been exposed to COVID-19, but it's COVID-1819. <laughs> but America still has a choice to make. America still has a choice to make. True. Do we impeach you now or invoke the 25th Amendment? And what about those better paying jobs? Better paying jobs. For better jobs for them and their families. It's been a long time since that's happened in this country. Yeah, long time. You got to hearken all the way back to 2020. <laughs> oh, those were the days. So why is everything so bad now? Well, instead of focusing on the economy, his woke White House targeted parents at school boards, elevated identity over education, made sure every job appointment was a historic first and a historic worst, instead of prioritizing competence. And now under Biden, even tampons are in short supply. If that's not a war on women, I'm Joy Behar. <laughs> and how do you know that I'm not? <laughs> we could pass for twins if I stop shaving my back. <laughs> but that doesn't affect Joe, because nothing does. He's just along for the ride, and he's not even driving. And that's why, as gas prices soar, it's also not his problem. The last time he was behind the wheel, it was when a Secret Service member pulled him around the White House grounds in a red wagon. <laughs> now, so we got a president who not only does not feel your pain, he's not even thinking about it. Only one thing at a time. And that thing is usually, how do I climb the stairs? He's no figure for a crisis. Look, I know my limitations. If I'm at a party and you need some drinks, I'll make them. But if someone starts choking, I'd be as useless as Dr. Jill Biden. <laughs> In that kind of emergency, I'll disappear quicker than Jesse Waters when the check arrives. <laughs> we need someone to throw us a lifesaver here, not a dumb dumb, huh? I wonder what Joe has to say. Hey, 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 come on, man. Look, 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 I'm sick and tired of it, man. Hey, look, I know some things are more expensive, gas, and, but some things are less expensive. You got to look around. And uh, I mean, look at this. My pillow, I just got, this guy's having a two for one. He's practically giving them away. And uh, have you priced LP records lately? Look at this. They used to cost 10 bucks, $1.50 on eBay. All right? Macho, macho, man. They got, they got everything on there. All right? That's a little over a dollar. How about this? 99 cents. Cher's greatest hits. Look, I think she was better after she left Ike Turner. <laughs> Do you believe in love after love? 